drifting. As described by Driftwood as this. Drifting is a driving style in which the driver uses the throttle, brakes, clutch, gear shifting and steering input to keep the car in a state of oversteer while maneuvering from turn to turn. Drifters emphasize car control by coordinating the amount of countersteer, or opposite lock, with the simultaneous modulation of the throttle and brakes. To shift the weight balance of the car back and forth through the turns. Sounds complex right? Well in all honesty it is. Drifting to most people would be described as a form of art and expression, a unique experience that connects the driver with their car. It felt like... Like everything else just disappears. No past, no future. Everyone who eventually becomes an expert in their field had to start somewhere and so do drifters too. Whether you're starting from scratch or just looking for your next drift project. Today I've compiled a short list of some of the best budget starter drift cars on the market. So without further ado let's get started. The first car on the list is the BMW E36. Definitely one of the most popular options on this list. Also the option with the most wiggle room as well when it comes to pricing and style. Whether you get the coupe, convertible or the sedan, they all share the similar iconic chassis design. A popular and relatively affordable trim level to look into is the 328i. The 328 model comes with an excellent straight six-cylinder engine with plenty of torque to spin those rear tires even in naturally aspirated form. The 328s were made from 1995 to 1998 and the M52 made 190 horsepower and 207 pound-feet of torque respectively. Another thing to note with this trim is the gearbox. It is the same 5-speed that came in the M3. The manual transmission is made by ZF and is rated to 230 pound-feet of torque and is known to stand up to abuse well. Given that this is car has been out for years and is well respected in the drift community there are countless options out there to make this car more capable from steering racks to drift knuckles. These options are also available for the MUCG cheaper 325i trim as well. A used BMW E36 can run you anywhere from $2,000 to $8,000 in today's market depending on mileage and condition. The next budget drift car on the list is the Nissan 350Z. Its front engine, rear-wheel drive two-seater layout ticked many boxes and made for a unique drift car or an awesome daily which was more than capable of putting a huge grin on your face during the weekend canyon run. With a huge array of modifications and upgrades available off the shelf, it's more convenient than ever to build yourself the ultimate weapon for the track, especially if you're simply looking to build yourself a budget weekend skitter. The 350Z made decent power. The 350Z initially featured a 3.5-liter V6 VQ35DE under the hood, before Nissan later upgraded to the VQ35HR. With the original VQ35DE creating 287 horsepower, they later released a 300 horsepower rev up upgrade from 2005 before later swapping for the 306 horsepower hour. The 350Z still has a favorable chassis which is a key reason for its success in the drifting community even today. There are hundreds of options out there when it comes to supporting mods. Some which can be had for relatively cheap which makes this car an option to look at. You can easily find a 350Z going for anywhere from $7,000 to $14,000 depending on year and mileage in today's market. The final car on today's list is the Mazda Miata Na NBM X5. You've heard people say this before, and we're going to say it again. Miata is always the answer. This zippy little car literally does it all. If you're just starting out on your drifting journey, the Miata is a great platform to begin with. It's the ultimate learner drift car as it's tricky and unforgiving. The same thing that makes the Miata fun to drive, makes it difficult to drift. It is designed to grip the road and does a great job at it. It'll throw a tantrum at the slightest driver error so it's not the most forgiving car to drift with. You can't get a wide drift angle because of the short wheelbase. The more you push it, the more it wants to spin. Though some aftermarket parts such as sway bars, coilovers and angle kits can help your Miata to drift more easily, if you can drift flawlessly in a Miata you're on your way to stardom. At launch, the MX-5 Miata is powered by a 116 HP 1.6 liter engine and is available solely with a 5-speed manual transmission which was then bumped up to the 1.8 liter engine which had an output of 140 horsepower by the second generation. The Miata is very capable and affordable, 
you can pick one up for anywhere from $4,000 to $10,000 depending on year and mileage in today's market. That's it for today's list so let me know in the comments below which one would you take to start of your drifting journey. As always thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time. Goodbye for now.